What do you think about it? We're gonna do some exploring. So welcome back. One thing that I never really allow myself to do is have what I consider a goof off day to where I'm not knocking out a specific project or something I feel compelled to get done. Today, I think I'm going to take me a goof off day. It's overcast, spitting, fog and rain and cold here in Florida. So I'm actually going to do something for me and a little Ruger here. Something I've been thinking about doing for a couple of years. And once I got a puppy, I decided I really, really want to do this. So out here in all of these pine trees that we planted, I want to make a few random trails. We already have some going through our hardwoods and we're going to extend those at a certain point too. But I want some trails every few rows going through here for some small game hunting. We are loaded with rabbits here. That's something I've been working on for a few years and we've got the population up. Occasionally there may be some quail out here, deer, and most importantly, I'm wanting some trails for exercise and for me and a little Ruger to go take a walk on together. So when I planted these pine trees almost eight years ago, me and my father did it and I rode on the back of a tractor and our tree row spacing is it is what it is some rows are really tight some are wide I'm trying to find the wide rows because i want to keep these mowed out and i have a cab tractor which is kind of difficult to mow in woods with so i'm walking along right now i'm going to find some wide open trails just like this one i'm going to mark either side and i may have to go in here and knock limbs off before i can make the first pass with the tractor and i'll keep a few rows every so often mowed out with the bush hog. Now I don't want to mow out too many rows because I want to leave the briars and the underbrush here just for the rabbits and the animals. But this is very tough walking in here. Once you get further in there, there is briars everywhere and they'll tear you up. Ruger's gonna have a hard time going through them. So I'm not trying to clear out too much underbrush here because well, this is our privacy. The animals use it. But I think a few walking trails every so often would be awesome. And you got to think, once I do quite a few trails every so often and I zigzag and walk through this, before you know it, you walk this, the trails on the property, I have well over a mile worth of walking trails. That's good exercise that, well, I need. I want to get at least one more down this direction but I don't want them too terribly close together. I would like to be able to walk down the trail and better look through several rough spots before you get to the next trail. So at the beginning of the video, I said I have purposely made brush piles and things for rabbits. Believe it or not, when we first bought the property, I just didn't see a whole lot of rabbits. Once all those pine trees got grown up and I started staging brush piles around the property, I have several that I actually add to. Some of y'all have caught that in videos in the past. Well, needless to say, our rabbit population has exploded. I can come outside late in the afternoon or early in the morning and count several just in the yard alone. So piles like this, you can see just big matted up mass. Lots of the animals will actually use that for shelter, dig and go up in there. Plus I just have thick brush. All around the property these rabbits will go in i often see rabbits in here they love vines and stringy stuff just like this i see them in here all the time so for the most part i'll leave all that alone and i'll keep adding to my brush piles so the more i look at those trails the more i realize i do not want to stick my nice beautiful tractor down them just way too many limbs it would take me forever to drop all those limbs and that's a bummer this is one of the only few times that i regret having a cab tractor versus a smaller open station like i used to have now with that said 99 percent of the other times i'm happy i have that tractor but when it comes to working in woods and around limbs it's hard to beat a small open station tractor speaking of any tractor companies watching this hey i'd love to run your small tractor with like say a four foot bush hog so i think what i'm going to attempt to do since i have old blades on the zero turn it hasn't run in months let's see if i can safely mow all that thick brush with this
come on buddy let's go check out these new trails so overall i must say the zero turn did a much better job than i was expecting now i have very nice walking trails with that said i mowed over stuff that i shouldn't have i fell in holes i about shut the mower off because the mower blades well bound up in dirt and i don't like running my equipment like that so it's not the right piece of equipment for maintaining these uh, trails but now that i have them cut what i can do for some really good exercise is bring my weed eater out here with a brush cutting blade walk up and down these you know once in the spring again later in the fall and uh well keep them clean for example this is some of the stuff i was falling in this is how you break a leg right there underneath all of that pine straw is a very deep hole from my friend the armadillo they're all out here in these woods a lot too needless to say i'm probably going to be hunting them more than rabbits this is exactly what i want to do this is what these trails are for me and my little buddy to go on a walk curious to see if he smells and picks up on rabbits or birds Yeah, like you're pointing at a quail or something, buddy. I also kicked up quite a few rabbits while I was mowing, too. To be expected, this is their habitat out here. So while I just destroyed some of it by mowing, what these paths do, now they give clear walking paths through the woods for deer, all kinds of animals, as well as, well, the rabbits now freely run up and down these paths. The other thing that I forgot to mention, one reason I've been really wanting to do this, all these briars out here, although they're relatively dormant for winter, everything you're seeing is covered in thorns, but what those are are natural blackberry bushes. So before, we would have had to walk through all that mess, and we didn't want to. It just tears you up. But now that we have uh, trails cut every four or five pine tree rows, we get access to a lot more berry picking in the spring. We released a video on that a few months ago. So we'll come out here in the spring. Now we can come out in the middle of the woods and all these berry patches pick those blackberries and uh man you can make cobblers out of it you can make jam which i did last year all kinds of stuff so these trails are going to get used for exercise spending time with my little buddy back here doing a little bit of small game hunting berry picking uh it opens up access to the property so here's the other cool thing too i just pulled up an app on my phone where you can measure distance the trails that i just cut even though this is not a whole lot of woods right here just added 1.1 miles to me walking exercise so between these trails what i have in the woods and a couple more planned i'm gonna have over two miles of trails on 50 acres technically only in 30 acres of woods so you can take a small section of woods, zigzag trails like this. Now, what I can do is we'll come out here in the mornings, we'll walk, zigzag these back and forth before I know it. I've done walked a couple of miles, got some much needed exercise, and spent some quality time out here in the woods. Now what you're also looking at here, these are trails that I originally cut a few years back. I got videos on the channel through our woods and some of the pine tree trails that I just cut give me direct access to this so I can walk from the house and just stay gone for a while. So I haven't shown this off in quite a while, but we're technically in a huge clay mine right now. They used to clay mine this property, I don't know, 50, 60, 70 years ago. And there's literally like 30, 40 foot cliffs over here behind me. I've never seen this hole go dry. I don't know how deep it is, but there must have been a good pocket of clay there. You can see the slick clay back wall right there. And going all throughout these woods is just holes like this. Sometimes there'll be turtles in there, sometimes alligators, snakes, everything else. I always like this section of property over here. Kind of reminds me of being in North Carolina or something. Doesn't remind me of being in Florida. So this camera, I'm sure, does not do this justice. But you're probably looking at 35, 40 feet up to the top.
see I'm already breathing a little heavy <laughs> I need this I need these trails Whew. all right well I put this off way too long I'm so happy to have an addition to some trails out here so I can do this right here enjoy our beautiful property that we have put so much time effort and money into oh, I'm so fat now I can get out here get some exercise enjoy the peaceful nature of it one more deer rub before uh, we wrap this up so I don't know if y'all can see look at this trail the ground is beat down And right here on this trail, it's a little deer rub. Looks like the ground was cleared out right there at one point. It goes off that way. Oh, well, hopefully you enjoyed this. We've got a little more trail building coming out in the woods. There's one more section of woods I want to clear out and do. Maybe we can catch that before springtime heats up. I know me and Ruger sure are going to enjoy this trail. We may get up before this nasty cold front rolls in tomorrow. Come out here and do us a little small game hunting. We'll be sure to include that on our other channel, The Kelly's Outdoors. Catch you on the next video.